What's up, skellywags? Time to go bush again. So there you go, that's the overhand knot that I was talking to you about. And then that's the tensioning knot that I was talking to you about. As you can see, what you do is you pull, pull on that, and that tensions it. You can tie off a nice tight ridge line. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you uh, how to set up a poncho shelter. Uh, once you understand how to set up a poncho shelter, it's basically the same for everything, okay? Okay, here is my Prusik knot that I can slide up and down, but locks off when pulled in that direction. Why is that handy? Well, here's a stick, and what you do, uh, setting up this poncho shelter, you've got that loop there, and you feed this through, Let's see if I can do that, one handed, okay, so here's our Prusik knot, which I can slide up and down this rope very easily, but if I pull on, on this rope, it locks off, and that's handy because, as you can see, I've threaded it through there, I can now place myself a little toggle stick and see if I can tighten that off just like that and I can tighten this way and then when I go to the other side where I've got a Prusik knot that's fed through here and I can chuck myself a little toggle stick through and I can pull this tight and suddenly you can tension the ridge line you come over here oh, and you tension it like that And that tightens off nicely.
so um, my experience with all tarp shelters has been uh, that basically do the corners but if you really want to make it worthwhile uh, do the middles as well and the reason for that is is it just puts that final bit of tension into the shelter and it stops it sagging as much during the night and always try and make it nice and taut because during the night whether you like it or not it will sag so let me show you what it looks like cool so there we've got it all set up you can see all the corners got our quick release ridge line got our prusik knot both ends and now what you do is you shove your mat down under there and you crawl under and because it's so low um, you're protected from a lot of the wind and uh, a lot of the well the rain you'll be fine with rain so this is a German tarp that's specifically made to make shelters but uh, just about any tarp sorry correction poncho just about any poncho uh, that's got eyelets in it will do this and they're a really underrated piece of gear just because they're multi-use they're so light um, and you know they're, they're great the only issue is if you decide to carry a poncho as your shelter and as your raincoat <clears throat> it's pretty common that you will be setting up in the rain and right now you know for example I have no rain gear so that's my rain gear right there uh, which means that if I'm setting this up in the rain it's going to be soak I'm soaking wet so just bear that in mind <laughs> maybe take a rain well I, I normally take rain pants and a rain jacket um, and then I use that as my uh, well I use this more than I use my nice Gore-Tex rain, rain jacket but there you go I'll sneak into it enough of a there's enough of an overhang on each end that my feet are well under cover my head is well under cover and <clears throat> although this will sag during the night if it rains heavily like only by reaching out either side can I get my hands out from underneath it so that's an example very low low profile um, and actually lying here on the mat is really nice and comfy so that's pretty cool um, with regards to this grass normally what I would do is put a little tarpaulin down and crush this grass down sleep on the tarpaulin and the reason for that as well is if it rains heavily and you get surface flooding then at least you're able to be off that so get yourself like a cheap $2 tarp, put that down, and you're good to go. There's plenty of room under here for gear as well. Sweet. Taking it down quite quick and easy.
and now just fold it up and uh, pop it away. Sweet, so that's pretty much the poncho shelter. Um, I do recommend adding some lightweight pegs because it stops you having to cut them when you're out in the bush, which is no problem really, but it does mean that if it's raining, you've got to faff around looking for suitable wood to make pegs. Um, if you've got six or eight of them, then you can just knock them in really quickly um, and then what I do is I roll my sleeping mat uh, inside that you don't have to uh, but that just gives you an idea of what's involved nice and easy